Hi there, and me back again, this time with the the Gorilla model from Ape Island. This is another Lucid Eye Miniatures model. It's a fairly large figure. It came in two parts, and as you can see, split along there, which is not great because it's a bit hard to hide the that kind of mole line and the fit is not in particularly there it's not wonderful so we're going to have to do some repair work and um, it's a fairly imposing model though I see quite interesting figure I'll just bring the camera over that way a bit um, so what I'm going to do I'm going to take this Vallejo earth texture which is really the basic material I usually use and I've got a toothbrush a uh, sort of rubbishy but very hard paintbrush and a uh, sculpting tool and I'm going to apply a little bit of this along the cracks and um, use the other bits and pieces to uh, sort it out, make it look like it, uh, it's part of Mr. Monkey here. There are plenty of other ways of doing this. You can see I'm just putting on the uh, fairly heavy coat to completely cover up that crack and I'm sort of relying on the idea that I can restore the texture to the model with the various tools I've brought. Okay. I didn't notice when I was buying this figure on the website that it had all of these uh, well it had this joint. That's okay. With that, let's get the lid back on this. Stop it drying up. And I'll try first of all with this one. You can see that's leaving a. Well hopefully you can see. It's leaving a pleasingly. furry sort of texture may even be a bit better than the uh, original sculpt in terms of the texture and it is possible I have to do more than one out of this. One of the good things about it is a little hair or maybe it's, it's a piece of glue. What I did with this to put it together, uh, let's get a pair of tweezers. Put them together with epoxy resin, and um, well, there's another hair on there. Pussy cats. I glued them together with epoxy resin. 
but I had this stabilizer joint with the super glue as well so I used both the um, super glue to basically hold the figure in place this stuff here is really I think some sort of thick acrylic paint that's how it tends to behave so for example you can wash your brush in water to get rid of the residue and it will also thin out this stuff I don't want to thin it too much because um, obviously it's got to fill the gap and I don't really want to uh, have to go over it again and then I'm going to wait for it to dry before we can check if it's okay let's put a little bit more a little bit more on use the small side because just there there's a little gap in some ways it is okay to leave this very rough it is a gorilla I'm going to put a bit more on the back as well to try and make sure there's no no areas that have been there's still too much of a gap because this is a basic material so just stick it on the base afterwards alright put the lid back on the tab brush this is still slightly wet and I'm just allowing the individual brush hairs to do the sculpting here really think of that I think that looks reasonably okay well, I'll have to um, undercoat it really to be able to tell for sure and of course this stuff you can uh, you can sand it or scrape it off whatever well, I think it looks okay Didn't need to bother the toothbrush. Okay, so there you go. All in terms of putting this figure together, and uh, as I say, it's epoxy resin and um, super glue, and uh, then this uh, Vallejo diorama basin material. 
to cover up the uh, joint make him a bit hairier looking as well okay thank you for watching